So let's play a little game real quick. 10 ways that you can tell that you're dating a Latino or a Latina. All right. The first way that you know that you're dating a Latino is if they got the Mexican mustache. Yo, and this is also going for you girls too. You could tell a Latina because she's got peach fuzz. You got peach fuzz. This Mexican mustache has been in my family. Shoot, man. I was able to grow a mustache by like sixth grade. I couldn't grow any kind of beard. I just grew a straight up mustache. <laughs> so that's the first way you can tell you're dating a Latino or a Latina. The second way is that they always over season their food. Now, if you've been dating a Latina, you know that they can grow, they can throw down in the kitchen, throw down. Now, if you're dating a Latino, he's never satisfied with the food you make. Why are they never satisfied with the food you make? Because we're always looking for extra seasoning. We need chilies. We need things that are just spicy for no reason. That's one, a second way that you could tell you're dating a Latino. Now, the third way, well, we're always going to be between 5'2", and this is for men and women, which is pretty crazy. We're either going to be 5'2", up to maybe 5'10", 5'11", on a good day. Now, your boy here is sitting at like 5'9", barely scratching 5'9". And my personality, and that's another thing you're going to be able to tell from anyone who is Latino, Latina, is that their personality does not fit their height. Because, boy, I'm telling you right now, I may be small, but my ego is fucking huge. Now, what's another way you could tell that you're dating a Latino or a Latina? Well, they really know how to dance and they want to dance. We want to dance! We want to dance! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember that scene in Selena where she was like, we wanna dance! when she's like leaving the club, when the uh, when the dad's group is leaving the club and they're throwing rocks at them and the lady just comes running up. We wanna dance! <laughs> Yo, but honestly, you know, you're dating a Latino if they have if they can move their hips. I don't know what it is, but we were taught to to dance at a very young age. And it's because of all the parties we had to go to back in the day. So I'll tell you right now. You're dating a lat Latino or a Latina because they know how to dance. Now, number five. Number five, you know you're dating a Latino, Latina, if they can actually quote from the movie Selena. Nombre, are you kidding me, man? This bumper, this, this bumper's gonna go on the wall of my garage, carnal. I'm gonna put a little sign under it. It's gonna say, this bumper was pulled off by the bus. Of Salinas. <laughs> I mean, anything for Salinas. Anything for Salinas. I know we're talking about the J-Lo Salina, not the uh, Netflix Salina. We're talking the original 1995, 96. No, it must have been like 1999 Salina. You know you're dating a Latino Latina if they're able to quote a scene from that movie. I swear to you. Also, number six, what's another way that we can tell that you're actually dating a Latino Latina? We'll ask them right now if they have a tío, or I guess I should say uncle, or an, yeah, basically an uncle that looks like Danny Trejo. Danny Tre Trejo is the machete guy, you know, the machete guy, the guy with the crazy mustache and the super long hair, and he looks like he's been through some shit. Yo, I guarantee you that every Latino Latina has an uncle that looks just like Danny Trejo. And I don't know what it is. It's just the way it is. <laughs> now, what's the seventh reason? The seventh, the seventh way you could tell that you're dating a Latino or a Latina is if they view Edward James Almos as their dad. Finger man, I heard about you. You're the finger man. I'm the finger man too. You know what I can do? I know how to multiply by nine. Nine times three. One, two, three. What do you got? 27. Six times nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do you got? 54. <laughs> That's a scene from Stand and Deliver. And uh, every and look, this is going to be hilarious. So when it comes down to Edward James Olmos 
there's certain people in every movie, every Hollywood that views that character as a dad. So let me go straight to it. So if you're from, if you're a white culture, right? Maybe you're Italian or something else, right? If you're Italian, German, you may view Robert De Niro as your like Hollywood dad. I know that sounds silly, but you may view Robert De Niro as your Hollywood dad because he's always played for some weird reason a dad. Or even um man, what's the white-haired guy? Uh oh my goodness, I forgot his name. Man, he always had white hair and he plays in that movie um see, this is why it would help to have a co-host because I'd be able to Steve Martin. Steve Martin. If you're white, you could view a father figure just like Steve Martin cuz he always plays a father figure. Now, if you're African African American, you can also view people like, oh my goodness, Uncle Will. Or is it Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil, not Uncle Will. What's wrong with me? Uncle Phil. He played that dad figure. And in your culture, you may view him as the dad because he gave out wise wisdom to Will in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And if you really want to get down to it, everyone hates to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you're from the older generation, you viewed Bill Cosby as the father figure. If you're an African-American now, granted, he fucked up big time, but he was considered the father figure when it came to an African-American culture in the Hollywood. Well, Edward James Olmos is 110 percent. That's Selena's dad. For some weird reason, if you're a Latino Latina, you view <laughs> Edward James Olmos as a father figure. It's just instinctive. It's just how we view the Hollywood father figure. Now, I got off topic, so let's go to number eight. Number eight, how you can tell that you're dating a Latino or a Latina is that they always judge Mexican restaurants and taquerias. I am always judging the tacos that come from any Mexican establishment. I'm always judging the tortillas. Nashville has the freaking worst tortillas in the entire nation. I haven't found one I actually loved. But I'm telling you right now, that's how you can tell that you're dating a Latino Latina is if they're always judging the tacos, the Mexican restaurants, shoot, even sometimes even the margaritas. Now, let's go on to number nine. Number nine is you can tell that you're dating a Latino or Latina if they've been to more quinceañeras than they've been to Sweet Sixteens. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know that you're a true South Texan if you know about the mating call. <laughs> Yo, when it, comes to, when it comes to the Mexican Hispanic culture, man, quinceañeras, man, we all know, I know a bunch of people in San Antonio, Texas that have definitely stood in like five, I've stood in at least three by my, uh, that I can think off the top of my head, quinceañeras. And one thing I'm so proud about my about my culture is shoot, we don't have we're so badass that we have a party before we even turn 16. We have that 15, baby, the quinceañeras, and you cannot forget about the line dancing in the quinceañera. Uh, oh man, that is that that's the that is the jam, bro. You will start actually dancing to that. Latinos love to line dance, baby. And when you hear that, ah, 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 man, that's like the mating call, baby. That's and everyone gets on the dance floor with that. <laughs> and last but not least, number 10, the way you can know that you are dating a Latino or Latina is if she's a Latina, she is extra spicy. What do I mean by that? She does not hold back. She says what she means when she wants to say it. She's not afraid to speak her mind. She's not afraid to be herself. And she's not afraid to call you a certain kind of name. And if you're dating a Latino, they have the machismo style to them. What do I mean by machismo? I mean, basically, they're very prideful. They want to get things done. They want to provide for you. And that's, I think, a very com common characteristic 
when we're talking about Latino men is they have that machismo ness to them. They want to provide. And that's one thing I love about being Latino. Wow. We just hit 10 facts. Oh my goodness. That's man. That's dope. I love that. I was able to knock that out. 